So, just a very, very quick comparison between a couple of different buckle options. Uh, bought various bags over the years where I've either switched out the buckles myself if they're not stitched in, or I've asked a, a tailor to do it and had a couple of bags, little Sputniks made by uh, Bag Jack over the years, and they just wanted to quickly talk through the buckle options on each just for just to explain some of the issues that I've um, encountered and just in case it's useful to anyone. Right, very quickly starting off. So Cobra buckle, Austria Alpin, uh, just the standard metal one. And then that is the ITW uh, plastic Cobra buckle, buckle. So just in terms of a bit of a comparison, so the straps, same size, you, you can see how much bigger the, um, the plastic ICW one is just there. So it's got, it's much wider, much bigger body. Uh, I actually prefer this one. It's a bit more unusual. Loads of the fashion brands at the moment of, of you know, they're doing roller coaster buckles, which essentially looks like that design. Uh, so this one's a bit more unusual. Also, I find that this one, I mean, even not under load, oh, it's designed for climbing at the end of the day, so you wouldn't want it to be able to open easily. I mean, you see that like can be quite tricky to, to open, particularly when it's under load. So had some of the Bedouin foundry messengers over the years, and if it's over your shoulder, it can be quite tricky so you need to release the tension in it in order to get it out whereas this one you can see there literally no no trouble whatsoever so from a from a carry perspective in terms of pra practicality it is a lot more convenient i find smoother mechanism just clicks into place nicely um yeah and then just in case there is anyone that's planning to so this is the hip monkey uh, from mystery ranch and that is the full moon from mystery ranch so i did a quick comparison um in a separate post just in terms of like some of the differences between the two as you can see i've obviously switched out the um buckles on both now the buckles, the original Duraflex buckles, they're not stitched in. So it is literally just a case of, of removing the original buckle just by threading it through uh, this bit here. And there's a bar in the middle. Now, with the if you're planning to do this, um, what you need to do is typically, I've found, is buy the mail, which is uh, that bit and the female parts separately. And you need to make sure that they've got the adjustable bar in. So there's a little bar under there. Slides around a little bit. Whereas if you buy it as a, as a whole piece, you tend to get one of them that's, that's classed as a fixed um, component, which means, so this one's a fixed one. There's no bar to slide around. Uh, you can see, hopefully see, just under there, there's a little, silver bar so you can thread the fabric through obviously you can't do that with that one so i made that mistake uh, back in the day bought one of these buckles without really thinking about it and then realized the only way i could attach it to the bag was by um the strap was by stitching it in uh, so thought that might be useful um in terms of buckles generally i would say that the fidlock ones from a practical perspective far outweigh the uh the cobras so that that's the um european version of the tad parallax you see there it's got got them on there um reason why i prefer these over the cobras as i'm sure you just saw there they're super once you figure out how they how they work um they are so easy to use uh, very practical and in terms of doing them up you literally just hold it near it and it 
shoots it, shoots it in. Um, had there been a bigger buckle option available for the full moon and the hit monkey, hands down, would have gone with one of these. Uh, so much more practical. Now, slightly different. This is one of the other Fidlock examples. Went with that on this messenger. Um, really wish I'd have gone for that one with the benefit of hindsight, but too late now and I'm not paying to have them switched out. But essentially with these, you just unhook it and it's you know it's pretty pretty good it's you just literally put it near it and it clicks back in uh reason why i don't like this one as much when you've got the bag actually on i just find it a bit more tricky whereas this one is just you know straightforward bang so yeah hope that was um hope that was useful anyone's got any questions happily answer them have a good day cheers bye